Welcome back to Information Communication Technology, paper of October November 2020, paper 2 for document production mail merging. We're going to carry on the second part of the document production, which is mail merging, which is task number 4. You're required to carry out a mail merge. Create a mail merge letter using the file sponsors.rtf as the master document and the rank.rtf as your data source file. Replace the text and chevrons with the master document with the merge files uh, fields from the data source as the follows. Okay, so first of all, we have two files. We have the first file, which is as a master document. The second file, we need to open it. We need to import it actually from this file, which is uh, the data source. So what we need to open is first of all is this file as a master document. So we need to click over sponsor.rdf. Here we go. And then through here, which is the mailing tab, we need to click on select recipients, choose from, uh, use an existing list. We need to locate the file over here. And which is was let me see it was rank.rtf. So this one and click on open. You will notice all the things here got activated as you can see. Actually the rank.rtf file you're going to find the database in it as you can see over here. The data this data source it can be as a CSV file or RTF file. Right now it is as a RDF file. It has different uh, uh, information and records and different fields. Okay, we're going to close it. And as we got activated our buttons over here, we can see we have around 10 uh, records of the employees probably. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to replace all of those chevrons with this name. So I'm going to put it next to each other and I'm going to replace them. So let's start with first of all first whenever you're highlighting make sure you're highlighting without crossing or taking part of the space over here. Even if it is a dot make sure you're not highlighting and they uh, also highlighting the dot because it's going to be replacing it and the dot is going to be disappeared and later whenever, go, whenever we're going to show the result this is going to be connected all like this. So we need to be careful about all the um, spaces and commas and full stops. So let's replace the first one with uh, over here you will find first first supposed to be replaced with first name family supposed to be replaced with last name address one over here it's alright as long as it is not going to the second line because there is nothing here so I'm going to replace address one with street Okay, here the problem happens that it is this becoming to the same line. So make sure you're pressing enter or since the beginning when you're highlighting, make sure you're not exceeding. Address 2 supposed to be town and post supposed to be postcode. First again will be first name. Okay, uh, read line by line and try to find out all the chevrons. And we have other chevrons over here. So we have finish. Finish supposed to be rank. And then we have fun. Make sure you're you can use shift and right and left arrow on the keyboard. So 
So the fun is going to be bursary. After all, we have another one which is agri over here. Agri is supposed to be condition. I can keep this here and I can keep it. Okay, I cannot. And then let's carry on. Okay, we have a lot over here. Family is supposed to be the last name. BIB is supposed to be race number. YB is supposed to be your band. And then CAT is supposed to be category. I'm not sure if this is the last one. Okay, these are seems all. After that, let's expand back again and Make sure the spacing, punctuation, alignment, enhance, alignment and enha enhancements in the original master document are maintained. As I told you, you should be careful and choosing everything, highlighting it carefully, not taking the space of any punctuations or any other spaces. You can use the keyboard keys of uh, shift and right and left arrow to adjust the highlights. As I am going to put the cursor here, I'm going to click on shift right arrow and if I exceed it I can go back again with the left arrow uh, 27 replace the text candidate name with your name enter your name center number candidate number in the footer of the document so first of all let's change the over here candidate name after that enter your name center number and candidate number in the footer of the document so let's double click on the footer. They just say it in the footer of the document. And click on insert. Oh, sorry. Let's go back again. Footer. Click on the three blank columns. And in the middle here, we need to add those three. Or no need to be in the middle. Actually, we can add them like this. Save and print your master document. And then in printout number 4, make sure that you have entered name, center number, and candidate number on your master document. And this is going to be our printout number 4. So let's check it as a printout preview. And we can see that the candidate number and all the information are added here. The next question which is 28, set an automated filter to select riders who have a rank of 3 or less. So let's go again to mailing section, edit recipient list, click on filter and we have to select the riders who have the rank of 3 or less. We have to choose rank and the rank supposed to be equal to 3 or less than 3 so okay equal or less than 3 and click on ok and let's check if it is added let me make sure it is added or no it's not added again Here we go. So we have three ranks, three, two, or one as it is less than three. 
click on OK and we will notice here the number is not exciting anymore three records if you want to see we can click on preview and we will be able to see the information of the three okay so evidence number nine place in your evidence document a screenshot to show the use of the automated selection method so we need to show this filtration method so click over here filter and let's take a screen capture for this so that's going to be evidence number nine Merge and print the letters for the selected writers only and that's going to be close it and print out that's going to be your print out number five so to print it out we need to click on finish and merge edit individual documents and click all for all those three documents and we're supposed to get three documents over here and we need to click on print and that's all we can make sure also of the candidate number and all information are visible and that's print out number five i hope you got all the questions and answers and if you have any questions you can put it in the comment section for the last part which is printing the evidence document as your evidence is ready make sure everything is put in it already make sure your candidate number showing on all the pages and then print your your evidence document I hope you got all the questions and see you in the next paper.